Hey everybody, it's Karen Katie. Uh, this is day 57. Yes. Day 57. Yes. And today we are doing a blend you guys saw me open, you've heard me talk about. Definitely not my first reaction to this one, nor Katie's. No. Um, so this is from Emerson Southern Forge. This is one I named. Um, I was kind of joking. I didn't think everyone would put like would be down for putting their name on this, <laughs> but I love it. The fact that it is named that. Plus, now you can you can already go get like merchandise with the name of this blend on it. It's on Amazon. Just search it up. Satchel of Richards from Emerson Southern Forge because it is uh, topped um, like an aromatic. It is in the Mile High series. So this is, um, the goal behind this blend was to create something that was aromatic enough for Katie to enjoy it, but had the most potent nicotine punch, or so I should say vitamin N punch. Um, I wanted, I wanted it to, to be like prelude to a nap <laughs> um like just hit you really hard so it is uh now i could get the ingredients wrong because i know that some small changes were made but um 50 percent um rustica and then burley and then some fire cured burley uh and I don't remember if there's Cav black Cavendish as well. I think there is. And then a heavy rum and vanilla topping and then press into a cake. Did you show the... Not yet. Do and pull the cake out. Pretty, please. I have a dog sleeping on me. Oh, darn. She would like to not be disturbed. <laughs> this one's about half gone now. Yeah, there have been but, lots yeah. of people requesting this, Jim, if you're seeing it. Um, Many a share at Pipe Club. Yeah, well, not just that. Someone actually tried to walk off with it at Pipe Club. <laughs> well, I mean, not completely intentionally. Similar jars, I think you'd said, yeah? Uh, yeah, he did have, he does use similar jars, but. But still, you yeah, know, mm -mm. stay in put. This one, Share, uh, but not give away. It Darn. hits. It hits very hard, but you have to, for me anyway, I have to complete, I have to finish the whole bowl in one of my larger pipes before it hits. But when it hits, uh, it's like a big wave of nicotine hits you. I mean, it's, I kind of have to close my eyes and, and just hold still for a minute. Might need to try some larger bowls. Yeah. Rarely do I get that. Yeah, uh, my, my, my uh, Volcano Morgan Bones, Volcano Pot looking Morgan Bones is perfect. Um, by the time you finish that big boy, yeah, you need a nap. I like naps. That works. But, um, this is, it's a fantastic blend. Jim did a great job. Yes. Um, now this wasn't requested for me. Because I still don't have a clue what direction my palate is going. Everything. Everything. Just, just I, yeah, I, I can't even, I can't even make a physical description of, of what I am, uh, becoming attracted to what is lighting up those bells so this is going to continue but i know for katie if it has a potent enough uh, aromatic flavor she'll reach for it and if there's any side benefits from that like a nap she'll definitely reach for it and this one this one does that out of 10, what do you give this? Solid 7, 8. 7 or 8? I'm, I'm right there with you. Um, 
for me, this is one I definitely want to make sure where possible because, I mean, Jim's got to be willing to whip this up again. <laughs> but where this possible, is this is something I would like to be able to, to keep on hand. Um, it's very pleasant. It's by no means too earthy or too, like, straight tobacco taste. And it's not too aromatic. It's definitely not in English. It's in just its own... Nice, well-rounded. Yeah. Um, it being pressed, I've got to believe, does it some, some serious favors. But uh, yeah, guys, if if you uh, if you're interested, and maybe you enjoy Burleys or Rustica, or maybe Burleys and Rustica, um, please give this a shot. Give Jim give Jim a. Uh, a shout out you can find him on instagram on facebook and you can just email him at emerson southern forged or just emerson, emerson southern, southern. Yep. Just emerson southern. i can do it yep emerson southern at yahoo.com yahoo. but uh if you guys are interested at all uh hit jim up for that and that'll do it for day 57. Um, day 58, we're, we're going to start with Cloud Bear. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, I think that's all of Jim's that we have at the moment. That is all we have at the moment. Jim has a list of like 150 blends, and like half of them I want to try. So <laughs> I will be getting more of Jim's blends. Um, I'm kind of holding off until until I get a better idea of what I want because he's putting his just just like Adam um, at Cloud Bear, you guys are putting your blood, sweat, and tears hopefully not tears <clears throat> well, actually hopefully not any of those things into the blend <laughs> but effort wise the effort wise, and the attention yeah. to detail and the great craftsmanship there yeah, I, you guys are, are there's a lot of effort that goes into it and I don't want to waste that with going Oh, yeah, will you spend two hours making this for me? Oh, you know what? I don't like it. There's very few you don't like. Very few that I don't like to the point of, like, saying it in, to everyone else. I don't want to disparage any tobacco, truly, because, look, someone had to like it. This is true. Someone had to like it for it to be worth marketing, packaging, distribution, and some some retailer also selling it and putting their name on the line. I don't know how Borkham Rift does it. I don't know. Um, I haven't tried all their blends, to be clear, but damn, that was bad. Sorry to bring up memories. Yeah. So sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna. Uh, it's gonna be years before I get over how bad that was. <laughs> well, just have another satchel of Richards. It'll be fine. Everybody needs a bag of dicks. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys have a good day, and we will see you tomorrow.